Our in-depth coverage of this eyewitness news alert continues. We just heard from the man at the center of this boil water advisory, the head of the Kent County Water Authority. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at his position there and how other state leaders feel he's handled the emergency. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is live in our newsroom now with those details. Susan and Mike Tim Brown has more than a decade of experience at the Water Authority. Tonight, he's facing a mixed reaction on how he and the agency alerted the public to the boil water advisory. On Sunday, the Kent County Water Authority issued a boil water advisory after E. coli was discovered in the water supply. We wanted to know more about the man who's at the center of this emergency. Here's what we've uncovered. Timothy Brown has been the general manager at the Kent County Water Authority since 2002. We dug up minutes from a 2006 Public Utilities Commission meeting that shows Brown was praised for improving the system. During the meeting, the chairman of the Water Authority even suggested naming a new treatment plant after Brown because he'd done such a good job. But now the Water Authority's general manager is facing some tough criticism for the way he's handled the recent boil water advisory. I think the executive director I've worked with for many years, Tim Brown, uh, could have done a better job at making some phone calls. On the flip side, the director of the Rhode Island Department of Health tells us the advisory worked because nobody got sick. I don't think there was a delay at all. Um, I think what we did was correctly and intelligently process the information uh, that we got uh, and let people know in a, a way that was, was timely and appropriate. Now we also spoke with the attorney for the Water Authorities Board who tells us Tim Brown is currently in contract negotiations. Live in the newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.